So guys, as the unsolved case with Donnelly continue, her sister speaks out and is in pain as she speaks about the injustice that Jamaica system is corrupt. And so guys, as she said, you know that we are to continue and not to give up, not to back down because justice has to be served. And so guys, I wanted to check out Danielle's sister who is in pain as she needs closure as to where her sister is. Hey guys, welcome to Nikita Jamaica where you get the best and the latest comedy and drama and entertainment. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Thank you. Me with a love for no with a big high profile case like this. Why is it that the PM mouth shut? Why the Prime Minister of Jamaica mouth shut? Why do all of them shut up? Why? What do I have to hide? Is who is Noel that the whole around to keep quiet? Remember me tell you this. The whole around to go down. When the most I done with Uno, Uno wish Uno that they open the mouth. When the most I done with Uno, Uno go wish Uno did open the mouth. No justice, no peace. So I better Uno get some justice. Yes, people. August twenty first. And August 22nd, there will be a march or a protest in Kingston for Donnelly. <clears throat> we are still standing <clears throat> for Donnelly. We are still fighting for justice. Keep the fire going, keep the fire burning. The only way we're going to have justice is if we the people stand up to the government systems that are in Jamaica. We need to stand together. The word says, united we stand, divided we fall. So we need to stand together, come together, unite together. And fight for justice. We're not only fighting for justice for Donnelly, but we are fighting for justice for each and every missing persons or individuals in the island of Jamaica. We are standing for justice against the corruption in the Jamaica Constabulary Force and all government entities, uh, our sector, whichever word you want to use. So many have faced the high level of corruption in the government system in Jamaica, and enough is enough. Too many have felt the hands of the high levels of corruption in the government system. Therefore, someone or everyone needs to stand up for justice, needs to stand up for a cause. It's time for us to stand up for a cause and for justice. We can't see change if we the people don't be the change. If we the people don't stand for change. How long the people of Jamaica will be in mental slavery, physical slavery to the government, to the system of Jamaica. You have been illegally robbed um illegally taken um by granted you have been your
constitutional rights have been illegally taken away from you. Many of you don't even know your constitutional rights. And because they know many of you don't read, don't research, don't know anything, then they take advantage of you and others. It's time for us to stand, take a stand, be that voice, be a voice for the voiceless in the country and even around the world. Let's stand together. Let's unite together. Let's join hands together. Let's stand as a force to be reckoned with. If we come together, the system cannot overpower us. Aman, we are going to do things the godly way, the yali way. I'm bringing it in both terms, Hebrew and Christian. Aman, let's stand together. August 21st, August 22nd, go on out and protest with Donnelly's family and friends. Stand for a cause. Stand for justice. Stand for Donnelly. Stand for every missing individual that is in Jamaica. What many of you don't know, Donnelly's story has opened a can of worm. Donnelly's story is exposing more than one persons. It is exposing the corruption, the high corruption in the government system, in the Jamaica Constabulary Force, and even, even in the Jamaica Defense Force, and even among the pastors. Stanley case is exposing the high level of witchcraft, demonic entities, the occultism that is in the island of Jamaica. Yes, we know that will be a work occultic actions or worship has been going on for years. But Donnelly's story is there to expose many things. My people, I know the situation may look away to you and you may be giving, giving up. But we don't want that mentality because we're not giving up. We shall continue to stand and we shall continue to fight. We shall continue to push through this. You have to understand that the Jamaican Constabulary Force and these individuals in the Jamaican um, government system are sitting back, watching, strategizing on ways to overcome us. They will give a little bit of justice just to quiet us down, just to calm us down, and then stab us in the back, just like Judas. JCF and the government entities are like Judas, are like Pharaoh. Because Pharaoh lets the children of Israel go. But as soon as they reach a distance, Pharaoh went after the children of Israel. You guys have to understand how these pharaohs operate, these government systems operate. They operate in the
the spirit of Pharaoh. That Pharaohic movement. That Pharaohic ways or character. Many of you think you know spiritual warfare. Many of you think you know spiritual things, but you don't know. You don't know. Many of you think you can fight spiritual warfares, spiritual activities, but you can't fight them because you don't know. You don't know how to strat um, strategize against these spiritual warfares. You don't know the word. You did not study the word. So you know not the ways in which to fight spiritual warfare. It's time for us to stand. In my vision, in my vision, I saw myself fighting and fighting and fighting. And they sabotage the case. But yet I continued to fight. And I ended up winning. So today I am bringing back my vision. And I am telling you the people. Even out of Danali's situation. Whatever battles you are facing. No matter how they are sabotaging you. You have to continue to fight. Until you gain victory. You will not gain victory if you don't fight. How are you going to win a battle if you don't start the war? If you don't start the fight? If you did not enter the, the battle? How will you have victory? How can you be a winner without a battle? How can you be victorious without a battle? Therefore, my beloved, I speak to thee this morning, today, that there is a battle. There will always be a battle. You can't run from the battle. But you, your mindset, your aim, and your desire is to win. I don't want losers around me. I want winners around me. I... Put my mindset, my mind frame in a stance of winning. I tell myself, I, Althenia, must win, shall win. Hallelujah. I must win. I shall win. That's what I tell myself. When I wake up every day, no matter how the mountain is high, no matter how the, 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 the storm is blowing. No matter how my sails may be torn. No matter what I'm facing. I tell myself that I am victorious and I am a winner. And I am telling myself this morning. In the situation of Danali. That we shall be victorious. That we shall be a winner. In whatever way, shape, or form, we will win. One way or the other. The most I have the last say at all times. The most I have the last say at all times. At all times. We are a winner. We are overcomers. We have already overcome. It's our mindset. It's you, it's I, that determine where we go, what will happen to us, and if we shall be victorious, if we shall be winners. Change your mindset. Make that change today. Let's make a change in the land of Jamaica. Let's try to change. Let's try to change the narratives. Let's try to change what's going on. How much more shall we face before we start to stand for change? How many more children have to die? How many more women, men have to die? How many more of our people have to die? 
How many more of our people have to go missing before we realize what's going on? Before we ask for that change, how many more? My people, let us stand today. Please go out August 21st and 22nd. The flyer is on my wall. The flyer is on my wall. Please share them and go out there and protest. Okay, guys, for everyone that has been sharing, for all those that have been sharing, all those that have been with us, I thank you. For all those that have been praying with us, I thank you. For all those that have sent a word of encouragement, I thank you. There are days that I get up and I start to cry. I cry to see you, to see what happened to my little sister to see what's happening to Sophia there are days that I get up and I cry to see what is going on even in the land of Jamaica to see how many young children are going missing as the days go by For every day, there is at least three to four children reported missing or individuals being reported missing. Today, I pray over young children. I pray over young girls and boys. I pray for I pray for all ages this day. Praying for their safety. Praying that they will live out their youthful days and adolescent days and adulthood days. I pray that they will live the length of days that the Most High have promised unto them. I pray this day against premature death over these children in the mighty name of Yahushua Amashiach. I cover the children of Jamaica this day. I covered even my own, my granddaughter, in the mighty name of Yahushua Amashiach. I cover myself this day from every territorial demonic forces entities this day as i go into battle covering these children i come against the plans of the wicked i come against principalities and powers rulers in dark places i come against the prince of persia i come against every wickedness in the land in the mighty name of Yahushua Amashia. This day, I pray that as these children go back to school, that they will be covered by the efficacious blood of Yahushua Amashia. And as they go to school, they will learn what they need to learn. And they will come out to be successful young men and women. May they be role models. Even unto their peers. Even unto adults. Even unto those they do not know. But may seize them. I pray today 
for an uprising of the youth in Jamaica, in the United States, across the, the region. I know the enemy is after children and the after women, seeking to destroy and to kill. Because he's so angry that the Most High placed that curse for the woman and her seed to bruise and to crush his head. But Satan, you cannot undo what the Father says. You can only bruise or heal if we allow you to. Because once we stand on the solid rock, all other grounds are sinking sand. My people, change your mindset today. Change your thoughts. Stay positive. Stay strong. Be lifted. Be rooted and grounded. And be well. I thank you for joining me on today. I thank you. Yeah, man.